Hey guys, today I'm going to draw one of my favorite plants, succulent, and I will try my best to explain the process. The succulent I've chose is called Echeveria lawi. I'm going to start sketching with my favorite lavender pencil. This plant has very puffy leaves. I want to make them almost oval shape, and then I also draw these little guidelines to show where shadow will go. My goal is to draw 30 succulents. Each one of them could be arranged in a cute geometrical shaped white pot. And maybe later I will make a print of it or stickers. I don't like to draw this, just a picture. I want to make some product out of it. And I usually have lots of ideas, so that could be maybe a calendar or I can print it on tote bags, you know, stuff like that. Okay, now let's make the colors. Echeveria Lawi has very delicate pale colors. Something like light mint blue. I don't really have this color on my palette, that's why I have to mix it. To mix it, I will need blue and then a little bit of teal. I mix it out, make it a bit darker. Don't worry about color of water in a palette. It usually looks much lighter on paper. So it was a little blue and a tiny bit teal. Next color is going to be peachy pink for flower. The palette I have is very limited, as you can see. I don't have red, so I will use orange and these kind of pinkish magenta. I don't know the names of the colors. Together these two will make it the right color that we need for a flower. I start with a wet brush and apply water to the part of the leaf that does not include highlighted part. And after that I add color. Then I do the same with the other leaves and it's gonna be our first base layer. If you don't know where to leave highlights, you need to think where is your light source. I usually imagine it goes from the top or from a side. Shadow part is going to be on the opposite side, so it's pretty simple. You also don't have to worry about making every leaf exactly the same shade. It doesn't matter. You just need to allow drawing to create itself. As funny as it sounds, it's true. You don't need to stress too much if something is not exactly the way you imagined or thought it would be. Now I will add shadows with the same color I used for base layer. This way shadows will be very soft. Just make sure first layer is dry before I apply the second one. Good thing about watercolor is that it doesn't go into paper right away. You have a couple of seconds to remove it. It's very useful because if you made a mistake or added too much color, you can lift it with a paper or almost dry brush. That's why, in my opinion, watercolor is very forgiving. Back to mixing new color. It's going to be purple. I will need pink or magenta color and blue. If you add more pink, it will become warmer tone. If you add more blue, it will become cooler. Before lining, we will use this color for adding the darkest shade on our leaves.
After I edit shadows, it looks very cute in my opinion. Almost finished. But now I make another purple puddle, but a bit darker, and start outlining the leaves. Final part of painting this little succulent is going to be coloring the pot. I also leave some white spot, like a line between shadow parts. It will indicate the geometrical shape of a pot. Also, add these um, like freckles. <laughs> I think that's just a part of my style. After shading, I outline pot, and that's it. Hope it was helpful. Feel free to follow my instructions and try to draw a similar succulent yourself. Have fun and see you next time. Bye!